to be with someone. I, it's killing me because I am desiring a person. Because some people, I think, the yearning of being with someone is a bit skewed because there's different reasons why people feel like they want to be with people and it may not necessarily be the same one that we are currently talking about and wanting one for some it's just feeling voids that they have with past traumas or childhood traumas you know that's why they say oh daddy issues mommy issues as a way in a positive way in a way that's not gonna hinder next relationships and bring the past traumas into mm, and still be careful what they say and still be careful because that can come off as very naive and very yeah you know because why why, why are you out here trusting people why would you walk into like come on come on like eh, you know what you say you love me i believe you say you care for me i believe you until basically you're saying yeah yeah, yeah let's do this but i'm waiting for you to mess up yeah, but, like, the, the but you're not coming for... but you're not coming with that mindset that i'm gonna wait for you to do something mm -hmm. right it's just trusting that there won't be any mistrust along the way. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my friend chose the wine. Which one did you get? The Deep Leaves 2017. Um, a cab size. Of course. Oh, boys. they actually sent me the wines as well. We did go to Deep Leaves, remember? Yeah, well, yes. I remember. Isn't that where mum won her? Exactly. That's <laughs> where exactly where it is. I'm not going to say where what else happened. No, no, no. <laughs> but today... <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll keep the good memories. Exactly. Thank you. Aishla, I'm Toma. The one. Mm. Okay, great. The cool kids would say it slaps. It slaps. It slaps. It slaps. It slaps. It's still slapping. It's still slapping. <laughs> <laughs> that is so Thank good. Thank you. Making. Not even. No, we're not ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The menu okay mine is a bit oily but you can check it online but because i like old school things did the things i asked for this so i never started with my baby in tip my baby mali love that for them top is it maybe squid and the lamb and the mango and then tiny I'm gonna have the tuna, the beef, and the mango. So, yeah. So, uh, before we start us, we start with our little cannabis for you. Okay, that's cute. This is our so top of mac and cheese, with bread mustard, and grated cheese. Okay. And then over here, we have our homemade cornetto with chicken liver parfait. Mm. And cheese jam on top. Okay. The only thing that you don't need to touch is the bread. Don't eat the bread. Okay. <laughs> I've got it. Because it doesn't look as appetizing as everything. Yeah, no. 
Thank you. So it's just to hold them, basically. Yeah. Let's see. Wow. Really, guys. That's the chef that made all of this. His friends with Gordon Benzay. Yeah, Kanye's first man husband. Yeah, I go to me. How's that? <laughs> Different flavors kicking in. No. Oh, shucks, no. <laughs> I'll just stick to this one. Thank you very much. <laughs> Taste that lemon. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Sis. Mm -mm. It, ha it tastes, it's got a bit of sweetness and savory at the same time. Yeah, I'm done with the bread as well. There's my squid. There's my starter. Oh, that's pretty. Thank you. So in there we get that uh, pinot puree, right? And yeah. then some um, caramelized pineapple. And then you get your flash fried squid. Yeah. And then you get tentacles and yeah. And also some roti vegetables, so your can be smells absolutely yeah, yummy. Red. And some broad broad peas. In there now, so that is sweet potato. That like yellow stuff, sweet potato, that is fried fried again, and then you get that his reddish salad on top that's chopped up with some fennel, and then this is now the mousse with some split oil. Oh. <laughs> uh, Thank you. <laughs> I want to taste yours. Did you know the taste yours? Did you know the taste yours? Did you know the That mm -hmm. broad beans, red thyme peas, and the beef with cinnamon puree, mm -hmm. and also baby spinach. Thank you so much. It looks yum. It looks divine. These are our main courses. Yeah, content is content. <laughs> Have to get the right shot in there, baby. Yay! <laughs> Giving you what you want. <laughs> Joga, I strategically placed in now on a bowl. Perfect, perfect picture. Perfect, 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 you know? Sabu. Hmm? You said mine is a type something. Yogurt? Harissa yogurt and the mint and the feta. Yum, 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 guys. Ooh, Shonga, I didn't even need to cut, it just went. Love in my mouth right now. Let's get that yogurt dressing situation sauce in there. And get all the flavors in. Hmm? I know. Barman, what is going on? Mm. 
come you have snails in there? Oh, that's a snail. Yeah, that's a snail. That's a snail. Okay, so we're on a date. I'm eating my friend's plate now. And we're impersonating Sabu date and those. So obviously I'm like, you know, but also trying to be myself, you know? <laughs> But also like keep it, keep it within the aesthetics, you know. Be like, hmm. Mm. That's some good matured steak. How's yours going there? Mm. <laughs> That's a snail. Just put a snail. Mm. Tell me about the texture. The texture is fine. The thing is because we used to oysters. Because it's very oystery. Mm -hmm. But like a cooked oyster. So muscle. And you know what? Because of what I said earlier, what you said now. Yeah. It reminds me of the same. Someone had said yeah. that snails are. Or the oysters of the land. Mm. Yes, it would make sense to do it. So if you cook it, right? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mine is better. Yeah. Let's agree. I think it's called. There is. Yes, it is the yogurt. Mm -hmm. And my green. Yeah. Do you know why I think mine is better? It's the meat. It's in the meat. This t definitely tastes good. Yeah. But obviously, the flavors, when the flavors come all together, then it's like, oh my god, amazing. Yeah. Thank you. You like the feta mint thing? Yeah? What's in the in the mint feta thing? Mm. I think it's because I do the the put in coriander. I just a bit of coriander in there. Mm. Yes, and Bread beans and cheese. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Okay. What I'm looking for in a man. It's pretty simple. You know, beyond the exterior, I mean, obviously, the exterior, I just feel like we need to be compatible. And I feel like, as a person, you need to assess yourself and be like, you know what? Do I fit into this person's life? You know? I think, I think both. Because. I mean, I won't lie and say I'm, I'm not going to be pedantic about looks because I think I'm a hardy, so I, I think I want a hardy, you know? <laughs> mm. But um, obviously, the cliche is that the inside is important, which is very, very, very important actually. And I think I've narrowed it down to just basic respect and yeah so a person is respectful and kind and calm I need, I need yeah I need the balance to be there because I just feel like with my personality the way that I am just in general oh and the person is self-secured it's very important for me self-secured means one you You've, you've done your self-love work, you're content with yourself, so much I don't need any validation from me, um, because I can't do that for you, you need to do that for yourself, you know, um, and it's going to take us 10 steps back if that's what we're going to be doing, you know, and selfish also means that you know that when your woman is busy, that's what she's doing, you're not overthinking things, it also this means you've worked on your past traumas, 
You've worked on the fact that if you were cheated on before, the person who didn't teach you right before, that you've worked on it. And you're not going to project it on to the next relationship. So you're saying that in the middle of the relationship, you, the person who's come through trusting. Yeah, so you're saying that the trust should necessarily be there, but it should be automatically given and protected. I mean, trust is always built in a relationship because you don't automatically just trust every person that you meet, right? But I just feel like, as a person, you can't be a person who's uh, who always feels at ease and at, at just at ease with trusting people, especially people that are close to them, that they know they have good intentions for them or them about them or the other way around. You know, I don't, I don't need someone who's gonna always be questioning things. I, I just need them to trust that what I'm saying, what I'm doing is for their best interest. You want them to trust you from the back, from the onset. So, that, so I mean, that would depend because when, is that during dating, the dating phase, or is that when we're in a relationship? When, when you're in a relationship, obviously it means we've done the dating phase, right? And the whole situation of you meet a person, you meet a stranger, you don't trust the stranger, right? Because you don't know the person. But as you grow to know the person and then it gets official, then that's when you're like, you need to be trusted. Mm -hmm. um, if you, you're saying that the person must leave whatever it is as their partner you are doing, or the person, or the potential partner, whatever it is that they're doing, that mm -hmm. you're doing, is exactly what it is that you're doing. And uh, uh, you are saying that they must trust you. Yes. That what you, so I'm saying, you must trust from the onset. It I sounds, guess it sounds, it sounds weird, weird, weird but, but I think you know, it but is that. For me, it reminds me of a concept of trust should be there until it's broken. Which is a very mm, big thing. Exactly. Mind, but it makes sense in the sense that what you're it saying does. and what that's saying is saying. It does. Really it does. Because, I mean, obviously, when you get into any type of relationship with someone, whether it's friendship or an actual official relationship with or whatever partner that you have, is that you want your partner to trust you. Mm right with anything so much so when the good or the bad is happening the, they the people that you go to you know yeah. they go to people which then makes sense when, I, when you say it in that sense that it's, the trust would be from the get-go yeah. because even when you think about it, even when you're dating the person yeah. you need to be able to be free around them you need to be able to see the future with them and be like oh you know what I actually feel like I could officially date this person because I feel safe around them they trust me I trust them until yeah, they then they take it away. They, that's why then trust is so difficult mm -hmm. to regain. Because once you break it, it's like, uh. Yeah. And then I think the mistake with hers is that we take away trust from you. So we gave oh. all these other things that trust. Mm -hmm. And then we think that we're about to go off in the beginning. Yes. Know, that's not how we were thinking about mm. it. Which so we means it can away come off as naive. Yeah. But you know, I'm trusting. Mm. Also, that that's what I'm saying. That has a lot to do with your past trauma. Yeah. Remember? Because how do you know that? Because when I think about my, my first relationship, I'm like, when the guy told me this is what I'm doing, I believed it. I never second yes, guessed it. You literally gave it exactly. Gave it Until the moment when I knew the truth, I was like. Now I'm shaking because I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what she's doing. And I think, how do, now, how, do we, how do we get past it and how do we use our experience? Like, mm. you know, not in a positive way, in a way that's not going to hinder next relationships and bring the past traumas into... Mm -hmm. And still be careful. What to say? And still be careful because that can come up as very naive and very, yeah. you know... Why, why, why you are you out here trusting people? Why would you walk into like Come on, come on, like, eh, you know what? You say you love me, I believe you. you say you care for me, I believe you. I told you. Basically, you're saying, yeah, 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 let's do this, but I'm waiting for you to mess up. But you're not coming But you're not coming with that mindset that I'm going to wait for you to do something, right? It's just trusting that 
there won't be any mistrust along the way. So then do you not feel like what, what, what you would do with the tools that you learned could be a challenge for you? Mm-hmm. Until you prove me. Otherwise. I'll, I'll use my knowledge of other relationships as a way to detect red flags. Mm. Should they appear? But I'm not actively looking for them. But them. also, the red flags in the previous relationships could just be orange flags on the current relationship yeah. that you're in. Yeah. Yeah. So now that's why you have to be uh, sussing out. Yo, I, I, mm, I get, 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 listen, reports, <laughs> report 1.1, report 1.2. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, because, yeah, it's a case of you need to be learning, right? Like when somebody F's you up, you need to learn. But to what extent do you take that lesson? Because my thing is, right, if, if you're going to go in searching for the flag, Jake, when are you going to experience what it is that you have to experience? So let's say you were going to get caught up anyway with mm. this person. Mm. Yeah. This is obviously not a good thing, like telling God, it's a good thing that we miss this way. But you spent the first five months, which is supposed to be having a you spent it searching, having anxiety about it. Mm. Did you even enjoy that thing? Mm. God, do I gonna happen? Whereas, if you actually just organically and find when the other flags you address those, and you're able to look back and be like, you know what, it's fine. It, it, it had it. It's time. It's okay. Um, we move, as the youth says. We move. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So yeah. They are. <laughs> they are. Hmm? I think the, the, the feel of needing or really the desire to be with someone. I, it's killing me because I am desiring a person. And it's it's a, it's a hard year. Some some days it's like it's really hard. And the other time I was on Twitter and, I, and then I saw. Um, a friend who had posted something along the lines of how she's been yearning for companionship, right? And I mean, it's some days it's, it, it's like really hectic, you know, even though sometimes it's at the back of your head, and some days it's like, yo, listen. And I, I luckily caught that tweet on that day, I was like, yo, listen, I feel you, like, I feel you. And she she related it to loneliness. And I was like, but I don't think I'm lonely. And I think I, I would like the idea of having a partner. I, I can definitely do that by myself. But I know that a good partner will make things so much easier Pleasant. as well. Yeah. Pleasant. Come on. It's also very important that you don't forget the self-care Because now you can imagine Exactly. Doing your own thing, and, but you know. So now when we when we let go of that, you know, stuff on that idea, it's just a little bit. Like, like you said, it's a bit every day. Mm, you're not doing anything with your life. That's why you actually touch. Exactly, to because you're actually not doing anything for yourself no, by yourself because you're trying to get someone to come in. Oh no, honey, you can't do that. <laughs> no one wants that. <laughs> highly, highly. No, I wouldn't equate it to, to loneliness. I just feel like um, it's just the yearning of the nice feeling that I know that I've experienced before and it can happen again. It's a beautiful feeling. Like love is beautiful. Like love is nice. And good, like good love. You know, good love meaning that the person that you're with is really a good person and they're really out there looking for the best interest for you and the relationship for the both of you guys. Yeah one because some people I think the yearning of being with someone is a bit skewed because there's different reasons why people feel like they want to be with people and it may not necessarily be the same one that we are currently talking about and wanting for some it's just feeling voids that they have for past traumas or childhood traumas you know that's why they say oh dating issues mommy issues there's a way go on um so i just hope i don't meet people like that Universe, Lord, receive. Mm-mm. 
Mm. <laughs> no. Yeah. So yeah, bro. Could try to give it. It's very freaky. It's very. It looks like a mango. Oh, so guys, sweet. this is and it smells absolutely Thank amazing. You. Thank you so much. Yes. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, it's cute, eh?